Good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. It's breezy morning, hope the wind's not interfering too much with the sand. I was expecting this morning to be torrential rain again, like yesterday when I got back from Odin's walk, it just did not stop raining from about, it's about half eight until, I don't know, middle of the night. So it's very bad, the, the field is sort of boggy, filthy. He's got his muddy boots on, you can see them there. And my walking boots have been sent back, I'm having to use my my other ones which aren't quite walking boots but they're, they're doing the job they do let a little bit of water in but they're not waterproof so i don't actually don't mind that too much you get to never get them really soaked that any water gets in anyway so at least they keep my feet nice and dry also my body is feeling pretty good yesterday I went for a, a fast ish 5k but the time's on screen it was like 26 minutes, averaging five, five minutes, 11 pace, which was sort of uncomfortable enough to be comfortable. That makes any sense at all, comfortable enough to be comfortable, yeah. And I think I'm tempted to maybe try aim for that pace during high rocks, which won't be too bad, that'll still give me a pretty decent finish time. But again, my legs were feeling very heavy after Wednesdays conditioning work, quads and hamstrings and glutes were just very tired so I was actually pleased to get that done. I've actually been eating a bit more food this week because when my training goes bad I tend not to eat which then just affects the next session and so on and so forth. It affects me mentally as well, thinking what's the point and all that. Yada 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 for a top of front of the day. But plan for today is an upper, upper body, the usual upper body bodybuilding session. The, the sort of shoulders and arms focused. Although having to hold this camera up here is actually fatiguing this shoulder, which ain't great. I played more the, the wall balls two days ago. So we're gonna see how we get on there, see if the strength is there to, to push the numbers from previous weeks. Maybe the maybe rest of 28 this week, we'll see. Oh then come on, stop eating grass. I'll have to go stop eating grass. But yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's the plan. Got sort of mind work until this afternoon, so I've got a fairly Busy morning, not busy morning, got more a bit of housework to do, get it nice and tidy, and then edit last week's video. Go and train at Pure Gym, get him to the Nans, and then head to work. And so I was just thinking, or I've been thinking for a while, is that I don't tend to like filming in the work gym when other people are there. Because it's only a very small space, and obviously when I'm, if I talk it, Everyone would hear it. Although I'm fine with filming it in a random place and posting it online for random people to watch, which is just very bizarre. That's like it's weird. Maybe it's because I'm sort of if I'm comfortable somewhere, I don't want other people to to see. I don't know. My brain needs figuring out because I can. The thing I said a few weeks ago, like I can post stuff on Instagram or. I post off on Instagram, I post it on YouTube when it's doing the exact same thing, they're both social media platforms but I just get more overthinking about one than the other Anyway, gonna finish this walk, make sure he's not eating grass then head home for some breakfast which probably gonna be a smoothie and obviously cannonball coffee Oi, stop that! Breakfast is served. Again, do your breakfast, but in smoothie form, and of course, camel coffee, maximum charge. But I've gone for a, a smaller serving at the small to not get enough, not get enough, not get too much caffeine in, just because that chest pain thing has been hovering around this week. But it's not been too bad. Last couple of days, touch wood. Also, I've been thinking, which things you have to think on the on the walk back. Because I was thinking about the, the timings of today. I was thinking about maybe just making today a push day. So do the, the Arnie's close grips, shoulder work, and then triceps. Just to cut, cut my time in the gym in half. And then just do a pull day tomorrow. So like the, the back and bicep work. Then so I'll be although I'll be at work. I can still get some decent back work in there. And again, it just saves time today. Just down a touch. There we go. Hopefully you can't see the pipe closed in the bed. I think you might be able to just there. But there's a 
blocking the way. Tried hiding, but couldn't. So yeah, that, that may be the plan for today, because it'll, I've just got a lot to get done today. So that might be the, that might be the plan. So yeah, push day. And that's got me thinking about the future program and maybe making it a sort of low upper legs push pull kind of session just to get get that extra volume in that I, that I feel I need to, to grow my shoulders and, and triceps because I feel like the, the back and biceps sort of take care of themselves really from heavy deadlifts and the the rows it's the, the triceps and shoulders that I've wanted to grow grow those you know horseshoes and boulders so I'm switching some twitch watching Harry Hesketh very good FIFA players doing not E-Prem for champs so we're trying to qualify for something but this is getting me thinking I should start streaming again I need to start streaming again maybe I might think about booking a week off between Christmas and New Year so I might set up one or two streams there I'll keep you posted on that but anyway I'm gonna enjoy this coffee again I was icing the coffee just to make it make it drinkable just drink the smoothie and then into the gym in an hour or so so I think next time we'll just be straight into the session straight onto those Arnie presses growing them boulders and here we are just outside the gym before we go inside I just thought I'd show you this get me on the GoPro if you are wondering what camera you're using is a bit different again because this phone can't connect to the, the media for some reason. I haven't actually sat and tried to figure it out. It's connected to, to take phone calls, which I suppose is a good thing. And the auxiliary cable doesn't work. Well, it, it works to charge the, the phone charger here, but I've actually got my camera placed in front of the, the steering wheel. It's a good little, good little shelf. But it's actually there to listen to podcasts on the drive here. Just listen to one by the Not So Fit Couple podcast. About the guy who ran the length of the the London Grand or either around like the length of different tubes so that's very interesting and obviously you saw a little bit of me drinking me pre-workout so we're gonna finish this and then we are going to head inside for training again sat here just gonna let my hands defrost a little bit more because on the drive here they went really cold especially this right one I think it's this this whole right side it's just I don't think it's in a good way like this this right hand just feel a bit bit shaky, I don't know if you can see any shakes there, it's gone really cold so I'm going to try and defrost this hand and then it'll be time to get in for some trainings. Oh, it's not realised how tired it up until I looked in the mirror but here we are, set one, going for the 28s, getting for 8 to 10 reps, hopefully you get 10 but shoulders are feeling pretty fatigued from all the more balls scouts only two days ago but we'll see. I think I've decided today to go for a full push session just to save some time. We've already been here for what? Procrastinating for a good 20 minutes. But it shouldn't take too long to get two sets of these, close grip, flyers and then try to but let's see how these get the music playing. Let's see how these how these move. expecting to get that that set of 10 but maybe the pressure having the, the camera on so rest 20 minutes and then go for another set of 10 PS shoulders actually felt alright towards the end of my shoulder was feeling a bit funny but it's always going to feel funny unless I get looked at properly well so two or three more sets of these and then we'll Move on. Make sure that's set. I may just jump straight into the the close grip. This is going to be a nice, nice short and sweet session today. Set three. Don't forget a different angle. 
my, so far my two sets of ten. So I see it's moose and then I'll decide if I do an extra set or not. Spicy. Oh. Surprisingly, I moved well. So, last couple of minutes, and then I'll aim for a, a fourth set of ten. And that'll be the arm he's done for today. I feel like that's towards the end of our set, almost turned into an incline bench. With, as soon as I feel that happening, I think I'm going to stop there. But again, we push for push for ten. Take the shoulders to failure, and then that'll be them done for the session, be the, one, the main pressing we've been done anyway. But yeah, it's feeling pretty strong, surprisingly. So let's get into this fourth set. Just okay. Last rep was a bit, last two a bit dodgy, but we'll say in terms of incline press, this bench isn't quite upright, it's slightly back, so this right shoulder being dodgy, this is the only way I can press pain free. Like just the bulk of the work, on the delta where you want it. Let me try and catch some breath, not be like it was, and then go and grab ourselves a bench. Being strong on bench, tonight to go 10 kilos from the previous, the previous session, last session we did 70, but two weeks ago I did 80 for set to 10. So we go for 94, a few sets of eight. This will be first working set. Have to, who'd have thought of eating enough food the day before, you feel strong the next day. Okay. Again, because the last few weeks have just been moving up and down, so I haven't been eating enough or properly. Not enough good foods, but a good day of eating yesterday. Um, I'm sort of reaping the rewards today, so let's aim to get four sets of eight with this and then it'll be happy days. But this time making sure I get to set like a bench and maybe use a little bit of leg drive just to, just to help. <laughs> Not even last week I said it's a busy day. It depends on how I feel on day really. Pleased with that, shoulders felt like they stayed in position. So, so, so far, so it's been a good, good day to trade so far. Let's rest again, two or three minutes, and then go for the set. So, for my these sets of eight, I've got some movie soundtracks playing, sort of Jedi eulogy. Rod has been playing, so it's getting me, getting me, getting me pumped. So. It's making me sort of push harder through these sets. These mock sort of some that usually does do that. Or sort of acoustic versions. But last set, we're getting another set of eight. Onto these belts and try to work. It's been just as far as the others. The last set was a bit, a bit shaky towards the end.
today. So that's all the main pressing done. And on to the accessory work. Might stick in some rear delts as well, just get a bit of extra work. On the same for tomorrow's running session and then it'll be pull some back and biceps at work. Okay, so hear me right, I'll do this music on right below. Speaker, probably the best place to film. I'll get operated again, but downside to listen to music soundtracks is nothing anyway. I can either get motivated or get too much time. I'm going to try in a corner somewhere and just think about life and reflect. Maybe I'll have some lap raises. I tried to do the leaner ones, but right sure I wasn't having it. So it's back to the, the regular two at a time. These classic hands right pockets. 45 degrees, 15 to 20 reps. Make sure we're using some farmer's calories or not. I decided yes, but that's it. Uh, again, yeah, apologize for this music. Probably a copyrighted spot. Here's what it is. against an exercise that I always find. You can never really progress, I think I've done the always between 75s or the 10s. It's kind of hard to get, get back. I should go for the 10s for the next set. So yeah, that's 50, fairly comfortable. So yeah, we'll go for the next time move away from the speaker, hopefully. Two other the 10s, yeah, what's much mind myself and people is that when you go to 75s or 10s, that is uh, what, 30% increase from the 75s or 10s, 10s to 12.5s. Yeah, so on 25%, so we're going dumbbell weight up. So we're thinking in terms of percentages rather than weight, because in terms of weight, 2.5 kilos is like connection often. But 25% is a big jump, I think it was it. So next time you feel twice yourself because you can't bench snap it up, just convert to a percentage, don't feel so hard yourself. But yeah, the 10s you go for, yeah, 15 reps, but the best here to hold them by the side. Not talking, but usually it is, it's so many crank out here. Reps, so it's not a sort of full set of 12, but it's like a bit of bodyings there as well. We're aiming for two more sets with the 10s and then into them, burn the horseshoes, the triceps, oh, and then it takes off. Like a, I'm sure there's a pump coming today, just keep everything. Trying to get a sweaty to the jumper. Yeah, all will be revealed, even though it's nothing spectacular or special. I'm actually thinking that. I wish I was still on because I ain't smelling the freshest, but it's off now and you need to do this. So onto some just rope push downs. Just again, it's all 15 reps. And then we stay here for some sort of the leaning back single arm extensions just to save time rather than try and go to somewhere else. So actually, yeah, I can just put this down, can't I? And yeah, I mean, my brain's not working today. I forgot I can adjust this, but we're going for 12 to 15 on this and then. Move on to those, probably two or three sets of each. And then that'll be all she wrote for the day. Maybe some face balls of this actually. Just to get some rear really, really work and all the, all the pressing. Way to be, I felt too easy to start with, but got just right towards the end. So, once it's that way, it's what 36 kilos. 
Again, it'd be ideal to have two ropes to be able to get past the body, not at the bottom press out, because it's all just some force, but uh, make do with what you, what you got, really. So two more sets, and then hip backs, face pulls, home for food and butt walk. Chest is feeling pretty fired for those push downs, but it's gonna go for two sets of the pig backs. Like I said, you've got to lean back and make sure the elbow stays part and that, that short joint to really short on that, that tri sped. I'm not expecting much here, I've done a bit of a warm set with only nine kilos and it's feeling pretty heavy. Okay, nice and strict to keep the body square to the cable. I've completely forgotten. We oh yeah, also like using the don't really like using your handles, it's just like using the bar, it just feels it fits nicely in the, the palm of the hand. And I can just really focus on pressing down with the tricep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've seen him doing it the other day, and I was like, well, I'll give that a go. And then it's on my left side, but I was like, oh, no. Well, I've always been doing kickbacks, but yeah, the lean back ones. Yeah. Just... yeah. He's, there's loads of people that say kickbacks and shit, and then he does them, and everyone's like, hey, yeah, on, on, the, on the cables, they're good, yeah. yeah, like... yeah what are you doing? Just bench? bench. Uh, just a push day today, yeah. I've been doing like row splits because the shoulder, and yeah. I do like more than one muscle The shoulder kicks off the other one. Chest and two back, like shoulders, and sides. Yeah. I feel like I'm like 19 again when I used to be like chest and two back. Yeah, I've also been doing like more bro stuff. It's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. High rocks as well, like I've been high rocks and bro stuff. It's been, yeah. been nice on the body. I was, I was doing all the conditioning for a while, but now I can't. Gets the winter, I'm like Yeah, to get that bulk. <laughs> yeah. Chat one of the Jim Matty saw me doing the cable kickback and that's when I was watching Jeff Nabard, which is obviously where I got that kickback from. But I was just saying, yeah, I like using the not because I can press the tight, but just I've got nothing to like focus on keeping still. I can just focus on pressing down, just as often as I have to keep control like it was a handle. You know what I'm saying? But go with uh, one or two more sets and then that'll be that be job done. Home for lunch and I said dog walk and just look out the window and I took him him down so we might have to forego his pre pre nans walk actually I'll put on I'll put my coat on and take him out of tea. And we are back. Oh, I've gone from having loads of time to not having much time at all because life. But good thing is, rain stops, so I don't have to get in his coat, don't have to worry about drying him. I get to my nan's where I can just walk him around the block, drop him off there. And I was hoping to have a bit of time to sit down and have some lunch, but I'm gonna have to not do that. And so I'll quickly chuck something together, freshen up, and then see you all at work for the post session DB fan. What I've got for lunch. Should we go to Nana's? Yeah. Let's go to Nana's, come on. I'd say that was perfect time. Literally just got in the door and uh, the heavens have opened. Absolutely tipping down. So I'd say my timing's good for avoiding the rain, but not so good at getting places and getting things done. Just pop you back on the tripod. There we are, is that good? Perfect. Yeah, back in work, got here just in time before the rain came down. I was like two minutes late. But easy for guys, you know, getting a dog to my nans and all that. But I've got a bit of a, I thought I'd had more time between getting home and leaving, but I did not, which is 
very frustrating because I think I mentioned this before. Even though I do less, I, I tend to take longer because that was only what four exercises there. Only press, close grip, bench, and there are two lots of push downs, which seemed to take a bit longer than I thought. So I had to get the chuck stuff together when I got home. It's, it's nice, it's going to be a bit of a, a weird mismatch of foods, but I managed to get two packs of rice, topped with some just sweet, sweet chili sauce, and then I did a bit of, a bit of cheese for extra, extra calories. And then in terms of protein, I thought I had some cooked chicken breast, or chicken sausages, or some form of meat protein, but I did not. So I had to grab this protein flavoured milkshake, again from Ollie, 20 grams, look at got those the other day. And it's a 25 gram pot of yoghurt, quark, cheese thing, so that's gonna be their protein. Probably gonna have their, I think rice first, and have their protein as like a, a sweet kind of dessert. So yeah, that's, that's lunch, bit of a random combo, I know, but gotta make do. In terms of training, that was a, a very good session. Shoulders felt strong, presses felt strong, which was good. It shows that eating enough calories the day before, feeling up properly, gives you energy for the next session. But well, training's been feeling pretty good this week, which I'm very pleased with. I feel like I've sort of found a groove again after that sort of low, the last sort of 10 days or so. But I'm just trying to figure out what to do for the, the the following weeks, so obviously tomorrow is going to be an extra vlog. Well, I'm going to feel it's like a bonus vlog of uh, a long run and then a back and bicep session, which will be in here and work. So I'll be back in here tomorrow morning before a trip over to see Kelly's friends. Maybe stay for the evening and then back to it Monday. I'm not sure what to do Monday. Whether to do doubles again or singles and then test week the next week and then obviously the following week after that will be like the, the taper slash deload before the big day. So exciting times and I've just got me thinking about how to vlog London as well because I'm going to do the comp day and then London but it's for me to, to still figure out. It's, I'm still talking the idea of getting a MacBook to come back into the into the mind but we shall see. Anyway I'm gonna Enjoy this weird mix, and there'll be an evening of coaching. We know when I get to arrive, thankfully, even though I was like a little bit late. So, we enjoy this, got the heater on to, to warm up, and then, yeah, I've we'll, we'll also got a little chai tea bag to sip on during the night because it will get cold when it does get cold. So, we're gonna wrap the video up here. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. If you are new, hit subscribe, turn notifications, all that jazz, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Is that goodbye? Catch you next one. Bye bye.